Hi everybody, even if there's no one there yet, but you will be I'm sure. It's Emma here, Time is Cookery. I just thought I'd whip up a ginger cake and I thought I might as well jump on and show you all what I was getting up to. So I'm using some ginger that's out the back end of my kvass. So this is the fermented vegetables that have been in there for two weeks, three weeks maybe, I don't know, yeah. And um, there's some lovely bits of ginger in there that have been fermenting for the last, well, three weeks. So that ginger there, when you chop it up, it's such a fabulous addition to a cake because it's so gingery. I mean, it's amazing how gingery it is. There's another bit there. Okay, great. Look, I've got two lovely bits of ginger there. Um, so to make this cake, what I've been, what I've done is, um, last night I was anticipating making a cake, so I put some almond meal, almond flour, in the bowl, and I put some clotted cream, 24-hour clotted cream, in there with it. All gaps, gaps um, tolerant. Uh, you know that's okay for gapsters and it's kind of fermented overnight so that has it's already got a little bit of fizz in it I can I can feel it's got a little bit of air in it already so and also it really releases the flavors in the almonds when you ferment it overnight so cream and almond meal overnight in the bowl and then I'm gonna put in a half a pack of butter so I'm gonna just soften that off a bit put it in a pan Put that in a pan, just soften that off a little bit, turn that on. There we go. Chop up my ginger. And I'm also going to add some fresh ginger as well. Oh, I could have grated that, couldn't I? I could have grated it with my little grating machine. My mama just gave me this fabulous bit of kit as a present. And it's so useful for doing lemon zest and ginger and stuff like that. Look, that'll do. We'll have some big chunks of ginger in there. Very nice. Pop that in. Yeah, it's a fabulous bit of kit. Look at that. It's really nice. I think it's made out of olive wood. And um, so I'm just going to grate a bit of ginger on there. Beautiful. It's going to be really gingery. Lovely. Ginger, a bit of pickled ginger because that's been in my kvass all these weeks. Then I'm going to put um, two or three eggs. Let's see what the consistency looks like. One, two, buckle my shoe. Let's give that a little bit of a whisk. That's looking like a cake mix. Oh, now for sweetener. Um, I usually use dates that I've just heated up in a tiny bit of water so that they're completely mushy and lovely. But I haven't got any dates right now. But what I did put in into the ferment last night was some stevia. So this is actual stevia leaves that have been just ground up. It's just a, a green powder like that. So I'll give this a little taste. Gingery. Not quite as sweet as I might like it. Might put a bit more stevia in it, maybe. But it's still sweet. And then we can just finish that off with a little bit of honey. So I'll put a spoon of honey in. The butter's nearly melted. This is how quick it is to make a cake. I'm almost finished already. Okay, a spoon. We'll have a big spoon of honey in that. Nice big spoon of honey. Right, whisk, whisk that in. melted butter will help me to distribute that honey through there that'll do oh it's a little bit too hot that'll do and the rest of that butter I'll just put onto my baking tray I've got a little bit of greaseproof paper on there and I'll just put a bit of butter on it so it doesn't stick there we go. all right whisk that up We'll see what we've got. Whoops. Nice. Just to give that a little bit of lift, that's a little bit wet, that batter. 
what I'm going to do, I mean, you could whisk it more and then those eggs would give you a bit more lift. What I'm going to just add to it just at the last minute is a little bit of uh, lemon. Oh no, someone's had my lemons. Cheeky monsters. I'm going to have to go next door and get some lemons. Hold on one second. So a squeeze of lemon and bicarb has that lovely reaction and makes bubbles. The bicarbonate of soda reacts with the lemon juice and gives you, there I'll just, a bit of lemon juice. Don't want any pips in it. Whip those out. Right. Lemon juice. And bicarb. <laughs> yeah, that just gives it a little bit of lift. The fizz just gives it a bit of lift. So literally, I'm going to stir this in, pour it straight onto the baking tray. Okay. That's it. That's it. It's got a bit of... Um, consistency there. So, spread out that butter a bit, put my mix on. Oh, lovely. Spread that out a little bit. It's like a tray bake. Pop that in the oven at about 100 and 70 maybe, I don't know how your oven is, if it's a hot oven or a cool oven or a what. So that's like a little tray bake, that's going to take 25 minutes max. And then we're going to cut it into little squares and serve it with some fat bomb frosting. Oh my god. So yeah, ginger cake. I'm going to pop that in the oven now, I'll take a picture of it when it's done and show you what it looks like. So don't forget, my cookery course is starting on Sunday the 26th of July. And you can join in one hour a week, live cookery training, Sunday mornings it is, Sunday at 10 a.m. You can join live or you can watch later and you can join the private Facebook page where you'll get support and ask questions and get, you know, some information on maybe your personal journey and share your triumphs and your mistakes and we can all have a laugh and enjoy ourselves. Join me, um, timelesscookery.com and we're also having a GAPS retreat in the last two weeks of August and we're going to Normandy to the seaside to swim in the sea every day and I'm going to cater and to walk you through all the stages of GAPS including GAPS intro if you're ready for that because you've got to be ready for that really and um, that's happening soon so go to timelesscookery.com and look out for the GAPS retreat or join me for this Sunday morning worship the body of your you know worship your temples um, the temple of your soul I should say <laughs> Lots of love, everybody, and see you soon.